What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Kai's Match Wrestling Recap. Let's get right into a very entertaining Friday Night Smackdown. Smackdown opens up with Sonya Deville welcoming everybody to Smackdown, talking about the exciting news that we heard just hours before the show that WWE would be returning to live events come June 16th. We then have a parade of champions of sorts as Sonya Deville welcomes all of Smackdown's champions, thanking them for carrying them through this pandemic, saying that they couldn't have done it without them. She then brings up Apollo Crews' fatal four-way for that IC title, saying that Apollo Crews might lose that title tonight. Apollo Crews did not take very kindly to this, saying that he will do whatever he has to do to retain that IC title. We then have Roman Reigns' associate, Paul Heyman, come in, talking about how it should be the parade of champion, as Roman Reigns has carried SmackDown through the pandemic, ever since he's returned, not losing a match. We then have Bailey trying to put in her two cents as she shows up in the ring, saying that she should be acknowledged for her accomplishments, seeing how she was the longest reigning SmackDown champion and that she held the championship pretty much through the whole pandemic. Bianca Belair does not take very kindly to this as she then marches down to the ring to confront Bailey. Bailey, of course, the heel that she is, has a plan up her sleeve as she then sends Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler to attack her. Thankfully for Bianca Belair, she had some backup in Natalia and Tamina, setting up a six-woman tag team match that we were about to see next. This match was pretty good, continuing both storylines that we see on SmackDown. Shayna Baszler getting the win for her team, sinking in that careful to clutch on Natalia. King Corbin heads down to the ring next as he talks about the disrespect that he was shown by Shinsuke Nakamura after he stole the crown last week. This match was a pretty good back and forth match as both superstars go at it, Shinsuke winning the match with that vicious roll up. As we then cut to the back, Jimmy telling Jay about the match that he set up for next week for them to face the Street Profits. Jay was not very happy about this saying that he definitely has to talk to Roman about it before the match next week. Roman Reigns is then out next, as of course his associate Paul Heyman is showering him with affection and admiration. Cesaro then comes out of nowhere, in a sling of course, after the damage he suffered to his arm last week. Challenging the head of the table, Roman Reigns, for a rematch for that Universal Championship at Hell in a Cell. Roman Reigns starts saying, you really want to do this, as all of a sudden, Seth Rollins comes out of nowhere, brutally attacking Cesaro, going right after that injured arm. Seth was not done there, however, as in the back he was being interviewed and asked if that was completely necessary as we see Cesaro being carried away on the stretcher, grabbing him by the collar, saying, why do you make me do this? Absolutely screaming at him. We then see the dirty dogs, Rude and Ziggler. Of course, Rude and Ziggler talking their normal nonsense, saying that Ray carried Dominic in that match and Dominic does not deserve to be a champion. Dominic takes on Rude next, as Dominic wins the match clean, hitting that 6-1-9 for that victory. We then were set for our main event next, the Fatal 4-Way for that Intercontinental Championship, Apollo Crews taking on Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Big E. Aziz pulling Apollo out of the ring to protect him. All of a sudden, we see this gray mist in fog, and here comes Aleister Black. As we kept seeing vignettes on him throughout the weeks, it was great to see him back, hitting the black mass on Big E, to allow Apollo Crews to retain his Intercontinental Championship. Well guys, that was a very entertaining Friday Night Smackdown. Let me know what you enjoyed most about the show. Always like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you for a NASCAR recap on Sunday. Peace out.